for us at Diageo, marketing effectiveness is about using data and technology to ensure that every pound, dollar or rupee that we spend on marketing leads to the best possible outcomes. For our people, it's not just about data and technology though, it's about culture, it's about how we make decisions, how we grow our brands, and of course for them, getting to the right outcomes means that it's really good for their careers and their development. I think a culture of effectiveness is really important. Uh, there's two big things I think about. One is about mindset. Uh, so we think about the values in the team, a focus on excellence, on awesome rigor, uh, and the, the dedication required, um, as well as the way we frame people's jobs. So we ask them to think about their accountability for outcomes, not output, uh, and the impact they're having. So mindset's key. The other thing is the way we reinforce culture through the stories that we tell, uh, the symbols we have. So we think about how we give people a platform to talk about their experiments and tests, how they visualize data, so the whole team gets the importance of these marginal, marginal gains. I had two separate teams, which was looking at the market side of things and also our research side of things, which we sort of badges our insight team. And there was some clear lines of uh, benefit that could be had if we pushed all three teams together. With effectiveness, I think the view is a lot of the time that they're either sat within a finance function or they are actually very siloed into marketing, which is sort of what we had. And what we wanted to do was bring all of that together and just maximise what we had. So in the UK, about 18 months ago, we put in place a new role. And the scope of that role covers looking at the effectiveness of our spend, but also planning, so how we work better with both our creative and media agency. One of his objectives is to regularly work with our agency who undertakes all our econometric studies. So those are done every six months. And then to report across the business in terms of those findings. That role also doesn't work in isolation. So that role works very, very closely with our pricing, underwriting, and product teams. So you get real integration and real collaboration, so the results are owned by everybody in the business. Great strategy, the right data, um, really understanding what you're trying to achieve. If you've got all of these things in the mix, you can actually start to think about what you'll do differently. Effectiveness functions are seen as a little bit, we're gonna come in and we're gonna wield a bit of a stick, we're gonna police that. We try to operate much more in a collaborative and consultancy way. The budget owners are the budget owners. My team don't own that budget, but they can advise, they can help, um, and they can, they can steer people um, with their decisions. I think the key to it is realising that a strategic view of the return on investment looks at the broader investment of everything, not just into tactics and not just into advertising, but everything we've set up in terms of product development, in terms of sales force, that vision of ROI is a much broader one and takes the longer term view. Yeah, so Catalyst is an easy to use tool that we've been introducing over the last two years. Currently it's at the fingertips of about 1200 marketing people and senior leaders. Simply, it brings together internal and external performance data together with analytics and it helps our marketing people make better decisions in real time about the marketing spend that they've got. So imagine, for example, you need to decide how to spend money across your portfolio. Marketing Catalyst provides an objective lens on how you might do that. And then for our brand managers, it helps them optimise every pound and penny they spend against the activities to get to better outcomes. The systems enabled us to overcome all the difficult things, the time it takes in pulling data together, the expertise that you would need in running scenarios, the direct link that it gives us through into our media buying agencies. It's just made all the pain points go away and given our marketers direct access to a tool that actually saves them a bunch of time as well as you know, enables them to think differently about the kind of scenarios they could use when preparing to spend their money. Catalyst provokes us to think about different scenarios, but it doesn't tell us what to do. I've created a dashboard um, that gets distributed to them quarterly and reports on financial metrics, brand health metrics, 
um, our funnels, so how well we're converting people who come to our contact centre or our website, and metrics such as cost per acquisition. So they get to see on a very, very regular basis how effective the spend is, both in terms of long-term measures and short-term measures. The other way is in our two biggest markets, which is the UK and the US, is we're now regularly undertaking econometric studies. We've been doing that for a couple of years and it is being um, very effective for us to prove which media channels are delivering the highest return on investment. What's changed in terms of how I view um, what's effective is the fact that we have so much more data to hand, particularly in a business like Just Eat where we can tell exactly what people are eating, when, how and why. 70% of people eat exactly the same dish uh, at the same time from the same restaurant on a Friday night, for example. And so what, what data allows us to do is to be much more focused around what channels or what media channels we're using are driving what kind of behaviour. And once you look at that through a sort of blended model, it allows you to then start understanding how you can tweak that model to either up weight above the line further up the funnel or to up weight at the, the, the point of purchase. And I think that really drives a shift in effectiveness and how people view it. It's all around optimization of channels. Um, and how you layer your audience understanding and segmentation onto those channels.